Hi guys and welcome back to Mulberry Branch Farm. It's Ashley here with you again today. Here in the Hoosier State, it's about 90 degrees, sunny, humid as all get out, and my allergies are killing me so I don't dare show you my eyes right off the bat. So, um, I've really been battling with allergies this week. So if I'm rubbing my nose, or if I sound stopped up, or if I look terrible, I'm sorry. It's just part of the season. Not to mention, we're actually clipping goats today. So I'm gonna be hot, sweaty, and hairy. And, and sometimes that's not really just the best combination when you have allergies, but you know what? If I'm hot and I can control the clothes that I have on, my goats are hot too. So that's one of the main reasons that we're going to be doing some clipping today. Um, Josie's 4-H weather is just a fuzzy boy and I feel bad for him. He's in the barn because market weathers and market animals are usually kept on like a creep feed. We keep them still except for to exercise when we're leading them and not saying that he's broke to lead by any means because fair is a little bit different this year guys. Our fair went virtual. So that means I'll be taking videos and I'll be taking pictures and submitting them for online judging. And we're actually going to be showing a, a market weather, a boar goat weather, and we're going to be showing some dairy does. Now both of these animals are clipped differently. So I'm going to take you through that process with both of them. Hopefully point those out. By no means am I an expert guys. I wasn't raised with goats. I wasn't raised showing goats. So by no means is this an expert video, but I'm going to kind of walk you through what we do to get them ready. And besides the heat and show, it's also for cleanliness, especially with my dairy does. I'm milking them every morning. The less hair they have, the less dirt they can hold and drop into the milk pail. So let's get to it guys. This is going to be a hot, nasty one. start by just kind of pulling him out. Oopsie daisy. You're okay. He's not used to being on the stand at all. So just gonna go ahead. We're gonna brush him out and we're gonna get to shaving. may need to have oil applied to the blade before you cut hair and then after you cut hair just to keep your blades in good working condition. When you shave your goat, you're actually going to go against the grain. And for our market weathers, we like to take them down as far to the skin as we can. And we'll leave to about here, down with the hair because with the market animals, you're looking for the condition of the body. You don't get meat down here, but from here up, you do. Here you go, buddy. Okay, guys, so you can see I've done one half of his body, he looks very slick. You can see that the contours of his body, which for us, for show, tells me where we might need to improve on. If we need to feed more, if we need to exercise more, under all that wool, I couldn't really tell. And then if you guys go on this side, you can tell there's a the big difference. He's still fluffy. And he's actually demonstrated quite a few things with shaving your goats. Number one, make sure your blades are clean. Mine were dirty, so you guys may have noticed there was not a lot of progress, and then all of a sudden there we were making progress. It's important to keep blade wash, blade oil, and cool lube for your blades on hand. Number one, the cool lube is to cool the blades down because that's a lot of friction, and then you're taking all the fur off, and then you're putting that hot metal right on them, and it's not good for them. So it's best to keep that lube on hand so that you can cool it down for them. Um, the oil keeps the blades running well and the wash just cleans out the dirt and grit so that they can actually pull the hair into the blades and cut them. But he's done something here today that I tell everybody when they buy a new goat to never leave a goat tethered or on a stand by itself. 
you guys saw a couple of times this guy misstepped and stepped off to the side if he were to step all the way off to the side and to panic he could really injure himself number one or if i'm not around or i can't hear the commotion because i'm inside cooling off and i've just left him out here he could strangle to death and die and then there goes a perfectly good goat we don't want to have any losses like that that are human negligence so just keep that in mind never leave a goat on the stand or tethered by themselves at all for for no length of amount of time don't leave them where you're not you don't have your eyes on them so all right guys i'm going to show you an after for him up next is a dairy doe he's a little hot now because he's been out in the sun but he looks pretty good overall so that's what he looks like and you guys will notice for the show we left like the tuft of fur on the end of his tail dairy does are kind of the same way and then down here through his legs you can see he's left the fur here and that we've left the fur there show time we'll fluff it up walk him and be ready to go So dairy does are a little bit different in the way that they are shaped. So you notice that with the market weather, I left below the hawk, I left it furry. These girls, every inch, except for the tail, the very last tuft, like on the market weather, will be taken off. It'll be taken all the way down as far as we can get it. Um, a lot of times I see that people will take like a shorter blade to the legs and get those really really close because you really want to showcase the straightness of your animal's legs so i'm sorry guys it's really hot out here um we're just going to go ahead and shape her all the way down and one of the big things with our dairy does too is i'm going to be shaving her udder and the reason for that being is the sanitation so um, i'm going to go ahead and shape her down she says it's not time to milk mom why are you touching me so this could be a rodeo guys Another reason for sanitation on these guys is around this time of year, you might find that you have lice or mites or anything on these goats and sometimes just shaving them as opposed to treating them with diatomaceous earth or silence or anything like that. Sometimes if you just shave them too, then the lice don't really have anything to grab hold and lay their eggs on. So that's another reason why we shave. You're a good girl. Oh, she's pooping on me. Jeez. But look how beautiful she looks. So you guys can see, like, we do all of it. She had her face um, trimmed, her ears, her head, everything, all the way down to, like, between her toenails. So, or her hoof, her hooves, down between her hooves. She doesn't have toenails. She's not a llama. She's not us. But look, she looks like a completely different doe. So, um, dairy does are shaved all the way down to the hilt. Um, they want to be able to see the angularity of, angularity of the body, how the neck feeds into the shoulders and chine, um, the top line. They want to see all of that, don't they? They want to see all of that. Um, and then, of course, with her being dairy, the most important thing of all, they want to be able to see her udder. They want to be able to see the attachment, the rear and front attachments. They want to be able to see the medial ligament that runs all the way back. They want to be able to see all of that with these dairy does. And she's about done. She's, she's ready to be done. Um, she shaved a lot easier than the boar weather because she doesn't have wool. She didn't have that undercoat. And she's just a beautiful mama. She did, she did really good for that being her first time as an adult being clipped. She was shown in 4-H like as a baby and never again. She's about five now. So... She's never been shaved and she got shaved today and she did really good guys. That's pretty much gonna do it for us today, guys. We clipped a dairy doe, we clipped a market weather. Now I know market Bordeaux's um, for breeding classes, they're clipped completely different. They don't leave the fluff. I think they're actually let, they're allowed to have a bit longer hair, about an inch long because they just kind of want to see the whole body condition with a normal amount of hair. And for the dairy bucks, they get shaved down too, except for their faces. They're allowed to keep their facial hair and look masculine. So hopefully, um, I'm going to do my buck maintenance this weekend. And I've actually got two bucks that are kind of on the way out. Wolfie is one of them because he bred every doe I have. And I've retained daughters. 
and Lego because Lego kind of came as like a just in case buck. So we're gonna have to wait and see how that goes. Um, hopefully I'll bring you guys along on it though. So in review, if you're going to be clipping your goat, you're going to need a stand or someone to help you hold the goat or maybe you can tie them up to um, the fence while you're clipping them. You need to be able to have clippers. Sometimes different size blades can help, especially for blending the body. Now I'm not good at that, so I just, I take it all the way down, but I'm sure the professional showers or exhibitionists out there will tell you that if you fade or contour some hair, it'll help them, them look better, probably especially in the rear end for market goats. Um, blade wash, blade oil, um, cool lube, or yeah, it's called cool lube from Oster to cool the clippers. Um, and a brush is nice. A brush is really nice because then you can brush that hair out of the way and hopefully you pick a cool day or you do it in the shade because this is a hot, hairy mess of a job. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, you found yourself learning something, um, please go ahead, hit that like button, leave us a comment, let us know how your fairs are going. Since ours is going virtual, it's kind of a different ball game this year. What are you 4-Hers in other states doing? Are you guys being impacted by the COVID-19 and the stay at home order? Did your fairs get canceled? What are you guys doing out there? Let us know. We love to keep um, keep up with everybody and see how everybody's doing. Um, if you found the need to, please go ahead and subscribe. We love our new subscribers, but if you subscribe, make sure you smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything that we've got going on here today, guys. So I think I'm going to take a break between my next dough or take a shower or wait until nighttime. <laughs> but until then, guys, thanks so much for being with me here on Mulberry Branch Farm. Till next time. Bye.